The test season is over where some changes were made such as the implementation of catapults, towers and different types of altars. Also the glorious city now takes less percent of points from the other houses. It is important to know what type of troops each player will enter with in order to be able to rely on rallies or defenses. The combat begins and the first moves is to capture the fortresses in the clan house to have E a better defense. With the latest changes there are now different strategies such as building trading posts or combat posts to capture the towers and catapults that give points per minute. We will use a combat strategy, setting up cavalry attack posts to begin with. Then the next fortresses and the first altars are opened, so the fight between the different houses begins. We can see that there are players of the Ban Alliance, which complicates the fight. They use formations of weakness and spearmen. The fight for the altars, Dragon's Well, continues and our troops capture some towers, which generates good points per minute. After 30 minutes he opens the central building, the most important band captures him quickly, so we do one rally to try to capture him. We can see that band defends with infantry and only T5, with which they manage to make a great defense. We attacking with T4 and E a little spears cannot win by very little. We make some more attempts to the glorious city without much success because the reinforcements arrive with speed and defend until the building gets bubble. We are fighting for second or third place because with the towers and catapults we are passively adding points. We ended up with the third place because it is regular that the one who captures the city of glory gets the first place and due to our strategy of attacking we could not concentrate on capturing altars. In the future we will try another strategy such as using exchange posts.